Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier this week we talked about Mega Smeargle, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Mr. Mine. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation on what this series is about. Now, every week I will be picking three Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or I want a Mega Evolution for. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your own opinions in the comment section down below about what would you keep, what would you change, and etc. And at the end of every video, we'll be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Mr. Mime. Now, I do have to apologize about this picture because if you guys do not like it, I'm sorry because I could not find a Mega Mr. Mime picture to save my life. I actually found this picture by luck because what I usually do is go, go on Google Images and type in Pokemon, Mega, whatever Pokemon I'm talking about for that video, and which in this case is Mega Mr. Mime. And what I did is type in Pokemon. Mega Mr. Mime and nothing popped up. So I clicked on a random image and I found this poke or this picture by accident or by luck if you would say. So this is the only picture I can find. So if you guys do not like it, I'm sorry. And um, this is the best I can do for a Mega Mr. Mime photo. Okay, so enough about that. Let's just get into the video. Now, Mr. Mime is one of those Pokemon that gets overlooked a lot. Now, this Pokemon can actually be very good in competitive play. Now I've seen this thing in a lot of BGC battles or should I say BGC teams because usually what I do is go on battle spot doubles because I do have a BGC team and I like to play doubles sometimes and I've seen a lot of Mr. Mimes on doubles and I'm like what's what's so good about Mr. Mimes? So I bought at least a good like handful full of Mr. Mimes on people's teams and the like the one move that everyone loves to use is like T-Wave, Teeter Dance, the one that confuses like everyone around it, I believe that's what it's called, this Teeter Dance, and also um, Calm Mind and or uh, Charge Beam. So that's the set I believe that's common for a lot of Mr. Mimes. Uh, for VGC, I'm not sure because I never used the Mr. Mime in VGC before, but in singles, it actually does pretty well because, I mean, look at its special defense. At base 120, you can make this thing into a special wall in the tier that it's in. Now, I'm still fairly new to, oh, I wouldn't say fairly new, but I'm still kind of getting back into um, smoke on tiers, and I'm pretty sure Mr. Mime is like in the low tiering. Um, I believe it's like an NU, RU, or in PU, in one of those three tiers. Now, it's just one of those Pokemon that gets overlooked a lot because it's straight power, okay? Now, I was actually in the Battle Maison, I believe that's what it's called, and I kept getting wrecked from a Choice Scarf, Dazzling Gleam, Mr. Mime, okay? That thing literally just pissed me off and almost swept my whole team throughout that whole battle in the Battle Maison. So that just tells you how much power Mr. Mime can put out, okay? <clears throat> now... I would like to actually have Mr. Mime get a Mega just because I see Mr. Mime as like one of those Pokemon that kind of got held back in an evolution of some sort, but it's it's in, in the group of Pokemon that got baby forms throughout later generations like uh, Magmar, Electabuzz, Snorlax, and also Mr. Mime of course. So I believe that it should get an evolution of some sort. and. Maybe in 7th gen it might get an evolution and then a Mega Evolution, but as of right now, a Mega Evolution is best fitted for Mr. Mine. So as you can tell from its stats, I increased everything but its physical attack because its physical attack is at base 45. It's not going to be very viable if you do make a physical Mr. Mime unless um, its Mega Evolution gets like some sort of like physical increase and we might get like be shocked kind of how like we did with Mega Pidgeot. We all thought it was probably going to get like Pixelate with Gale Wings with like a very huge boost into its physical attack, but that was the complete opposite. It got no guard with a huge like increase into its special attack. So we you never know mr mine might be a physical attacker if it gets a mega evolution so but for right now i'm just gonna leave it like its physical attack alone and just work on its other stats just because of like how i see it now for its physical defense i increase it from base 65 to base 90 mr mine is not the like the best physical wall out there and at base 90 is actually not half bad because usually a lot of people like to run either technician or filter because mr mine does get those two abilities and i actually like to run filter on my mr mind just because um, I can probably take a little bit more hits from super effective moves so that's why I usually like to run uh, filters and um, yeah <laughs> so 
Anyways, let me just move on. Now, for a special attack, I raised it from base 100 to base 130. Now, Mr. Mon does get access to Calm Mind and also Nasty Plot. So, uh, with the base 130 special attack with one Nasty Plot off, if you can get it on, um, it's going to pretty much wreck shop. I can guarantee you that. And um, for special defense, I increased it from base 120 to base 140. I didn't want to give it too much of a dramatic increase into its um, special defense just because it's already at base 120 as a regular Mr. Mime. And with a Mega Mr. Mime at base 140, it's still going to be a special wall because if you don't want to run a, <coughs> uh, a just a... Uh, special attacking offensive uh, Mr. Mime. You can also run a supportive set Mr. Mime with max HP, max special defense, and with like Thunder Wave, Teeter Dance, and stuff like that. Or if Mr. Mime, Mega Mr. Mime, should I say, got access to that ability that Tokikiss has that um, doubles the chance of having that status inflicting or something like that happen. Like how the um, flinch hack set for Tokikiss is. I can't remember the ability off the top of my head, but if Mr. Mime did get that ability, um, it would pretty much be GG. Because all you gotta do is Thunder Wave, Nasty Plot, and you're pretty much good to go. So that's how I see Mr. Mime, but sadly it doesn't. Now, the last thing I, want, um, it, I increased was its speed from base 90 to base 115. Now, I've always saw Mr. Mime as a very fast Pokemon. Now, at base 90, it's actually not half bad. It pretty much outspeeds a lot of the Pokemon in the metagame already, just with base 90. Now, if you want to be a very fast Mr. Mime, you can always put a Choice Scarf on Mr. Mime, like I was saying it through at the beginning of the video, or not the beginning, but like earlier in the video. Um, you can always run that. So I wanted to give it a good chunk into its speed as well to base 115. Um, just so that I know it's going to outspeed a lot of Pokemon. And it's going to be outspeeding uh, most of the metagame. Because like base 110 or should I say base 105 speed and above. Pretty much outspeeds the, like a lot of the metagame. So you're pretty much good there on speed. Now with a regular Mr. Mime it's base stat is at base 460. Which is actually not half bad. It could be better. So that's why the Mega Evolution comes in hand. So with the Mega Evolution it's new base stat to become 560 which is phenomenal now for its ability I, I actually wanted to go with like a psychic ability so I decided to give this thing magic guard rather than like synchronize or like trace or anything like that just because of uh, I just think magic guard works very well with it so you don't get uh, affected by like sticky web stealth rocks burn damage toxic damage and I believe you don't get um, affected by Thunder Wave, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure you do get affected by Thunder Wave. But Magic Guard is a pretty good ability for Mr. Mind. Now, I just left its typing alone as Psychic Fairy because it pretty much looks like a Psychic and a Fairy type. Now, I was thinking about make, giving this thing Psychic Dark, but since Fairy is a new typing, I wanted to actually keep its Fairy typing and also the Psychic typing because that is its actual, um, like, perf I wouldn't say prefer, but, uh, actual like typing from like first gen and stuff like that so i wanted to keep that alone um sit, leave that alone and so psychic fairy is just pretty much the like the best typing for it so anyways thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this wide mega evolve video don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to comment and subscribe now later down the line this week which on friday we are going to be talking about mega butterfree yes we're going to be talking about mega butterfree just because if Beedrill gets a mega evolution why not butterfree okay because i want all the pokemon that got mega evolution i want their counterparts to get mega evolutions like mega slow king mega milotic which everyone wants and stuff like that so i want to talk about mega butterfree this upcoming friday so stay tuned for that so like i said thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this wide mega video don't forget to hit that like button also don't forget to comment subscribe i'm actually going to be streaming sometime um this week so i'll put a video on like the link and stuff to my stream so with that this is white boy for the win like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later